Welcome back to the Comedy Lottery. How you doing tonight? What the hell is up, everybody? It's a show where anything can happen. Give it up for everyone in America, everyone in this room. <laughs> yeah. One day everyone will die, but tonight we're here for jokes. Yeah, and I came up with that just now, no, according no, to the video no, stream. No. Guys, I'm Austin Locke. My name is Demetrius Fields, and today we're joined by James Azarani, everybody. Hell yeah. James, James, <laughs> James, 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 James. That was everyone. <laughs> yeah. James, right. you know you're my mom's favorite stand-up comedian? That's right. If people ask my mom who her favorite is, they, she goes to you before me. Yeah. <laughs> Very quickly, too. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And you have so many more followers than I do. Yeah, isn't it fucked up? It's fucked up. My mom, my mom one time asked me, she's like, why do some of your posts get so many likes, but some of them get so few likes? And I was like, mom, don't ask me this shit. Yeah. <laughs> your mom doesn't understand the content yeah. economy. Yeah. <laughs> All right. <laughs> well. Your mom's so stupid. <laughs> <laughs> she doesn't even understand the content economy. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> All right. Well, dozens of comedians have thrown their name in the ring for the opportunity to showcase their best three minutes of stand-up comedy. Yeah. We're going to be drawing 12 names from the bucket unless names. the winner from last week didn't show up. I forgot who won. Who won last if week? Who won last week, make some noise. Great time to lie. Yeah. All right. <laughs> We're going to be drawing 13 names from our bucket tonight. Who won last Hell yeah. Week? I don't know, man. Someone want to stand up and lie. Now's your time. Yeah. They were, they were funny. Josh won last week. Josh won last week. Yeah. Son of a bitch. Oh, yeah. Josh did win last week. He's Can you? Funny. A clap if you're a comedian in this room. Okay, that's put their name in the bucket. And then clap if you're not a comedian in this room. What are you trying to do here? I don't know. It's just about a 60-40 split. I was curious. All right, yeah. for sure. Because they, weren't sure. because they weren't laughing that much at our antics, and I think that's because it's a lot of comedians. Comedians don't laugh at stuff. James is like, they aren't laughing if there has to be a reason. They're not laughing if there has to be a reason, because they're a bunch of it's douchebag comedians <laughs> who wish they were here on the mic. Yeah. And instead... All right. Let's finish this intro. <laughs> How about that? All right. You guys are going to be performing three minutes of stand-up <laughs> comedy. Your one-minute light is going to be coming from the back of the room. When your set is done, you're going to be rated by this panel of judges right here from a scale of 1 through 10. Yeah. The three highest scoring comedians at the end of the night are going to do one final joke in our finals, and then you, yes, you, the audience, is going to decide who goes home with the comedy lottery jackpot. Austin, what's the comedy lottery jackpot today? $201. Oh, yeah. shit. Yeah. Two hundred and one dollars, and it could have went to fucking Josh. What a pussy! Josh yeah. is a pussy. Are you guys ready to go into this bucket and get our first comedian of the night? What's his name, everybody? Um, Say it. <laughs> it's it is Josh. Uh, <laughs> put your hands together right now for Josh Rubin, everybody. Josh Rubin, Josh, the man, the Rubin <laughs> boy. What's up, guys? It's good. It's good to see you guys. <laughs> Uh, my name's Josh. Um, I'm 22 years old. That means in the event of a war, I'd be the one to save the country. <laughs> Look at me. No. One time I tried to rip off my t-shirt and all I did was stretch the neck a little bit. <laughs> I'm not the guy. Uh, my grandpa was the guy though. He joined the military when he was 18. When he was 12, he was working in factories. When I was 12, I tried to start a Minecraft YouTube channel. My name was ASMC Gaming. Any fans? <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> I thought I'd have a bigger turnout at Flophouse Comedy. Uh, I only had one subscriber. Any guesses? It was it. It was me. I made another email. Uh, let's see. Um, I wish Chris Hansen was still in the air. You know, to catch a predator. Like I think that'd be a good job for me. You know, like if I was the decoy, the fake boy. <laughs> I like, I'm charming. I think someone would travel three hours to bring me a pizza. Uh, the only problem with that is, like, if that's your job, it must be hard to date. Like, because your dating pool is just potential pedophiles. Like, I have a girlfriend the same age as me who I love very much. But in the back of my head, I'm like, you like little boys, you sick freak. Uh, I used to have basketball. I, used to, I mean, I used to play basketball. Excuse me. <laughs> uh, very short-lived career from uh, fourth to fifth grade, and I only ever scored one basket. And when I scored that one basket, everyone cheered a little too much. <laughs> like, everyone was like, yay! Then all the moms started crying. <laughs> like, I, my teammates were giving me high fives, and the other team was giving me high fives. <laughs> my mom has a video of the moment, and I, I watched it back recently. And I don't, I don't know how else to explain it. But it kind of looked like those videos of when they let the special needs kid <laughs> on the court to score a free basket. I don't want to sound insensitive, but the other team was passing me the rebound. I, 
I looked at my mom and I was like, mom, am, am I autistic? <laughs> and she was like, it was a very special moment. <laughs> what the fuck does that mean? I don't know. You learn a lot about yourself. I thought I liked trains a normal amount. <laughs> Turns out, okay, thank you guys so much. Josh. Hey. I don't understand why we let autistics take the trains. They're dope as shit, and we should all like them more, actually. <laughs> They're so fucking cool and No, you know what it is? It's a fucking psyop from the oil companies, because they want to keep us relying on cars, okay? So oh. you want some, the left comes out and, like, just shut up. The left comes out and builds, like, let's build trains, and then they're like, oh, what are you fucking? And then they say, <laughs> they say the R word. I would never. And this is true. Yeah. But on a separate note, I don't think comedians should say that joke anymore, because it's played out as hell. But I did I really enjoy the rest your material. I thought it was original. I think you need to dress differently. Um, your sweatshirt is boring and your haircut's like a Lego man. Um, but, but other than that, I think you're charming. I think you have to have a little bit more confidence in yourself. At the beginning of your set, you were kind of talking down instead of talking out. But I thought the writing was very solid. James, you feel like Roseanne Barr, dude. What? <laughs> you have the energy of what? like a, listen here, honey. Listen. Like, uh, <laughs> I thought we were supposed to give advice. That sweatshirt trash. It was bad. It was bad. And the jeans, not much better. Okay. <laughs> Believe in yourself. I, I Believe like, in I, yourself. I like the jeans. <laughs> <laughs> I thought they were nice. Yeah. I would His like, shoes look like the shoes that girl was wearing in the, in the, um, the, what was that movie we saw yesterday? Substance. The Substance. Look at the shoes from The Substance. They work out on the hot girls, you know? No, I don't know what that is. I just saw it, too. It was a good movie. Okay. It was a bad movie. Um, <laughs> Demetrius, what do you think? I, I just want you to rebuttal to everything you just heard. <laughs> How do you feel inside? You don't need to take this. Um, you, you can take it if you would like to, though. I, you I have, sound like a priest. <laughs> I, <laughs> I, I do have a lot of confidence. <laughs> and, and I don't like how you spoke to me. I, oh, my God. Yes. Fuck you. Okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That was like the turning point of a movie when yeah. he finally stands up to the bully. Is this Lady Bird, dude? This is yeah, crazy. Man. Rudy, it's, it's, Rudy. It's like the final scene in Ned's yeah. Declassified School. <laughs> yeah. Or Ned brings a gun to school. <laughs> and then Yo. you, like, you turn around and kiss your crush right now. Yeah. And I'm like, I respect you. Tough. Yeah. Dude, I thought it was really funny. I think the only thing that was kind of holding you back was throwing the grandpa thing in with the YouTube channel. I think if that just wasn't there, going straight from like stretching the t-shirt to the uh, to the fake boy joke would have hit a lot harder because you're just kind of on the self-deprecation channel and we lost it a little bit. But honestly, I like what you're doing. I think in the last joke though, we did definitely know what was coming with the, uh, with the you know, having somebody who's a little special on the team. I don't know, maybe switch it up. Maybe put somebody special on the team and then maybe they, they don't clap for him. Something else where we don't know where, oh, they liked it a little bit. <laughs> All right, but overall, I fucking I liked it. I thought you were fun. Great way to open the show. It's Thank hard you. to Thank open. You. Give it up for Josh, everybody. <laughs> Demetrius, if you had to give us a score between one and ten, what would you say? Um, to be honest, I, I would like some honesty. I'm gonna go like a. I'm gonna go strong. Seven point five to start off the show. Seven point five. James is up to a bit right now, so I'll vamp for a moment. Oh, I got it. You got it. What do you got? Well, I drew a picture of him being confident in himself. <laughs> first of all. And What's the S stand for? There's S for super. <laughs> and I forgot. It's Josh. It's Josh. I thought it was Sam for a second. I will change that. But the S stands for super guy. I was going to go seven, but then I was went to six because I really don't like when people do the train joke. I think it's super played out. But then I went to 6.5 because you found confidence in yourself. Guys, give it up for Josh. <laughs> 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 what are you thinking? Did you give a score? Oh, eight. I liked it a lot. Oh, Josh, lot. thank you for coming. Hey, well, you're thank at the top of the leaderboard right now. So Make much. some noise for Josh as he gets off. Thank you, guys. Are you guys ready for your second comic of the night? Second comedian. Second comedian. Guys, you know him. You love him. Give it up for Daisuke. Yeah. Yeah, this guy's awesome. Get over. Come on, Daisuke. Guys, make Come some noise up. for him. Come on. I remember him. Hi. Open mic. Hi. So I'm, uh, I'm Japanese. I, yeah, I'm Japanese, but ever since I came to New York, people who mistake me, I Chinese, I Korean, I Taiwanese. The other day, I was at a cafe. Someone asked me, are you Israeli? Oh, I'm like, Israeli? I'm like, Israeli? Probably because I was occupying other people's space for a long time. <laughs> I love this joke. <laughs> but sometimes, people, people 
get mad at me. <laughs> you know, one day I tried this joke on a white comedian. He got super mad at me. I didn't realize he, he, he was Israeli. He, uh, he was Zionist. He was five star Zionist. And he said to me, hey Daisuke, your information is wrong. Everything Hamas is fault. And Palestine was never a country. And that land belongs to Israel. According to the Bible, that place is our promised land. It's scary. On the different day, <laughs> Palestinian women told me, I love this joke. I love this joke. It's really hard to criticize Israel in America these days. I'm glad a comedian like you is saying it. We hit it off and started going out for drinks every night. She saw me as a dear friend. I saw her as a fucking sexy woman. <laughs> because he had huge tits. <laughs> Five star tits. <laughs> One day, I went to drinking with her, and she had really drunk and hugged me. Her big tits pressed against me. I could not digest, and I touched her big boobs. <laughs> then the bartender shouted, stop it, stop it. So I stopped it immediately, immediately, unlike Israel. So, <laughs> but, but later, she asked me, why did you touch me? Why did you touch me? So I said, because of Hamas. Everything Hamas is false. <laughs> but after, Hanging out a few more times, she started to, to, to like me, and she said, if you do that Israeli joke at your next show, you can come over to my place that night. So, tonight, I did it! I did it! Tonight, I'm going to promised land. <laughs> That promise is stronger than the Bible. Thank you. <laughs> Daisuke, everybody. Yeah. Saying what we were all thinking deep down. Yeah. Really summarizing that conflict accurately. I really do believe we all learned a lot here tonight. <laughs> Palestine has huge tits is what I got out of that. Huge tits. Yeah. And Israel was in a food court, I think. I, don't, I didn't miss the beginning, to be honest. I know I was I didn't follow a hundred percent of what that I liked the but my favorite part is when you were like you were like she thought I was Israeli can you believe and then you took your hat off <laughs> as if that would be the difference maker <laughs> that would be like oh he's he had Asian a, like we didn't know he had a yarmulke on under the yeah. hat <laughs> <laughs> yeah what uh, there was a long period where you just <laughs> of the of the set where you just talked about sort of the sadness of the situation. Situation <laughs> that didn't really build to a laugh, but made me uh, interested in your worldview, and I enjoyed that. I don't know if it fits in a three-minute set, but I think I like that you were able to say something about the ongoing genocide. <laughs> <laughs> it, oh, I, also, last thing: the, they don't believe in the Bible. Oh. The Jews believe in a, not the Bible. No, I think they do. No, nope. the whole the first part. Yeah, the first part, but the, not the second part. It's no the way. Torah. No way. I'm not Jewish. That's a fair note. Oh, uh, uh, you're not Jewish? No, <laughs> not, uh, Italian. <laughs> no. As as okay. already, he's very so Italian. Very Italian. Uh, very Italian. No, uh, Italian. Yeah, right. you're, you're so funny. I love watching you. You're so convicted. <laughs> Gen genuinely enjoy it every time. Yes. Oh. Thank you for coming Thank back. Thank you yeah. very much. Yeah. I'm, fa I'm familiar with his style. I know his game. He likes the long drawn out one, long drawn out jokes, but I feel like it's fun. I had a good time. I have no nose for Dice OK ever. I <laughs> <laughs> I'm going I'm going eight. Oh, thank you. Eight. Oh, thank you very much. What are you going? I'll do I was gonna go uh well I don't know. It's very strange. <laughs> 
So um, number one through ten. Number one through. I'll do seven. I'm gonna oh, do seven. seven. I, I'd laugh and I did feel something. Yeah. Whoa, well, he All felt right. something. I then I go. I'm gonna go. I'll go six point five. I enjoyed okay. it, but I feel all right. <laughs> I feel like you know you could trim out just a little bit, just uh -huh. a little bit in the middle. But I feel like we were still having fun, so I'm gonna go six point five. You said eight, 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 seven, six point five. You're on the leaderboard. Make some noise for Dice Okay. Wow, thank you. Make Give it up. For him. Yeah. Thank you very much. All right. Wow. Thank you for coming back. All right. Are you ready for the third comedian of the night? All right, so you Guys, don't he, he asked you, you he home. asked you a damn question. Oh my okay. God, go home. Don't get mean to them. Don't get mean to them. <laughs> You're right. I'm don't they, 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 don't, they don't want to be elicited applause the whole time, okay? Uh -huh. I'm Do you guys want to be elicited? Hey, guys, clap if you want to be elicited applause right now. <laughs> the fuck. <Yeah. laughs> the next comedian to no applause. Give it up to uh, give it up for Austin <laughs> Ray. Hey, Austin Ray, everybody. Thank you. Uh, you guys saw NBA Hall of Famer Dikembe Mutombo died this morning? Yeah, uh, sorry to break the news. Uh, but so moving forward in his honor, uh, any girl that threatens to block me, I'm gonna start fingering her like this. Good old esoteric Dikembe Mutombo death joke to start this off. But what's up everybody? My name is Austin. Yeah, uh, it's spelled A-U-S-T-Y-N. Or as all the cool teachers used to call me, Austin with a Y, which gave me a sense of purpose. But uh, that was a bit different from what all the cool kids used to call me, which was why the fuck is Austin here? <laughs> yeah, they weren't as big of fans as me. But uh, I'm very picky when it comes to women, and I've had a tough time describing my type, but until recently, I've been able to pinpoint it. And what that is, is whenever I go out on a date from, with a girl from Hinge, and we meet up with one of her friends, that's my type, the, the friend, 100% of the time. And apparently that's not what Hinge Plus is used for. It does not mean plus one. In my experience, it seems to mean plus sized. Perhaps Hinge Plush would be more fitting. Um, but no, I, uh, I do feel like women have been, have been getting fat shamed a lot recently. And I know I make these type of jokes, but uh, it is the one thing I can't truly get behind because I can sort of relate to bigger women. Because at one point in my life, I took one of those 23andMe DNA tests, so I too know what it feels like to wish I had some black inside of me. <laughs> there we go. That's who that joke was for. Uh, but uh, if you were wondering, I'm not mixed. Um, if I was, these jokes would be much louder, a bit more animated. Um, I don't know where I was going with that. Let me see. Let me see. Um, yeah, no, but uh, I'm not black, um, and I'm only 1% Jewish, but uh, I'm not part of the 1% that controls the weather and everything else, unfortunately. But uh, I'm sure you guys know the reason behind 23andMe is because of the, the 23 chromosomes that make up the, the human DNA. So I have to ask, um, do retarded people not know where they came from? They have to take 22andMe. Oof. Uh, I wish I could end the laugh. What am I end there? <laughs> that, was, that was rough. Give it Yo, up for Austin. Just, we just we also quick. wish he could end on a laugh. You know what I mean? Just real quick, people who have Down syndrome have an extra chromosome. You fucking yeah. Yeah. All right, never mind. Fuck. Dude. That was my first time telling that. Oh so. man, you're not black. Uh, no, not. Why at all. are you doing this then? <laughs> Into it. Why are you doing all this <laughs> shit, bro? Uh, Come on. <laughs> what kind of type beats do you make on YouTube? <laughs> you're at least a producer. Juice World. Word. <laughs> what are you? What are you? You're not. What? This is fucking me yeah, up. Yeah. Cause I'm like, I feel like I'm less black than him, and I'm black. <laughs> <laughs> I also feel like I'm less black than him. I feel more black than him. <laughs> <laughs> Probably is. <laughs> Damn. Yeah. This shit is fucking my mind. Y'all got to talk because I got to digest this shit for a while. Okay. Uh, it's, not, it's not a black person. <laughs> digest it. That's, that's crazy. Okay. You look like okay. Patty Mahomes and Travis Kelsey put together. Like that's that. a football joke. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I, okay, so I didn't uh, know the basketball player you're talking about. Okay. I gather he does this after playing. Plays. He does it every time he blocks a shot. But my question is, you do that to women that try to block you? Threaten it. What? Threaten it. Why would you be fingering them if they're trying to block <laughs> you? 
Because they haven't blocked me yet. So okay. He got, he got past the It's defense. a little creepy. Right hey, here, no, yeah, yeah. no, no, we're not doing that. No, no, I'm, that's what he said, not yeah, what I said. No, that's um, funny. That's funny. To I be in the pussy like this is for me <laughs> and for later. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I like that you said the word esoteric in that fingering joke. I didn't. Uh, thank you. you. I would never have guessed you were going to say that. You spelled esoteric so wrong. Why, that's James, crazy. why would you tell them that? E S S. <laughs> yeah. How does it feel? How does it feel? Esoteric. <laughs> it's it's <laughs> Bro, you look like your name is Esoteric. <laughs> 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 I That's love that. Uh, do you wear this uh, outfit on the subway that your phone is going to fall out of your pocket? <laughs> and that's not a joke. That's an advice. Okay. <laughs> that's advice you. for you. All right. uh, yeah. Oh, Yo, zipper, got let's it. get into your set a little bit. So where are you right. from and how long have you been doing it? Uh, so a little over a year. I'm from Pennsylvania. Okay. For sure. Which yeah. part? York, Pennsylvania. Okay. For sure. Welcome to the new one. Uh, thank uh, you. Thank uh, you. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 Um, I'm gonna start using that one. <laughs> I mean, like, I feel like you have good energy on stage. Like, you're likable, but these jokes, you gotta like work on this writing and stuff. Cause, like, I don't know, just women, uh, fat women wanted black inside of them. That's like '90s Def Jam shit. Uh, yeah. We've done that before. Uh, I don't show us your inner world. Like, how do you really feel? You know, if you want to know the real you, don't just say jokes that you heard other people laugh about. You know, talk about how you your inner. You know, what's your soul? You know what I'm saying? I gotcha. Yeah. I, I don't have a sense of smell, so I like to. Okay. Like, lean into that, but yeah. I just didn't bring it out today. <laughs> I thought I was going to win, and I was, yeah. it <laughs> you know, I was saving it for next week. Is it quick? If you quick, do it right now. It's less than a minute, yeah. Uh, so I suffer from a condition called a nosemia, and if you don't know, it just means I don't have a sense of smell, and I am saying it correctly, a nosemia, which to me has always been sort of a slap in the face. You know, imagine emphasizing the eye and blind. <laughs> or when talking about someone who can't walk, you call them a paraplegic. ick <laughs> But sometimes the condition is a gift. Other times it does stink. Uh, ladies, for no. example. <laughs> no. uh, that was your big Damn closer? It, no, it, it, strong. it does end And pretty you said strong. ladies, so you're going to do a pussy yeah, yeah. stink joke. Yeah. God damn it. Yeah. I, uh, you knew it was going there. No. You didn't know it was going there? But tell us how that affects your life. Don't just make puns about it, yeah, you know? Yeah, like, what day to day? How does it, you know? You might want to adjust your tone. White boys who look like this are ready to go to jail. I <laughs> Trust me, trust me, I've seen it before. You don't want to go down that road, brother. All right. Uh, yeah, man, <laughs> get, you just keep keep writing. You're only a year in. You're likable, but I get rid of that last joke, man. I don't know if you're ready to drop them slurs yet. <laughs> Yeah. Got you. Yeah, 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 yeah. I didn't like hearing you doing self-deprecation jokes, but using my name also. That felt weird to me. <laughs> yeah, it's. I didn't like. I was like, I don't feel that way at all. But it's spelled differently. It's spelled differently. It's spelled differently. Yeah. Like it's esoteric. Like esoteric. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, let's get on. Let's I get saw, on. Let's get on. I saw James winding up for it. And I was like, I can't. Yeah. I can't give him this one. No, he's so well. I saw him reaching for it. I was like, like esoteric. Like You're a college graduate. I can't. Yeah. Um, uh, thank you, Austin's girlfriend. I uh, I don't know. They like a three because I think you, you seem kind. Oh, I appreciate that. <laughs> I appreciate that. Yeah, I'll go three also. Dude, I'm also going to go three, but keep uh, doing yeah. it. Keep like doing it. Okay, come back. Just come just back. I'll be back. I'll be Give back. Give it up for him. Austin, yeah. please come back. Seems like a good hang. Come back. That's the same guy. Oh, he's, he's sending him back up. <laughs> Send him <laughs> double, double dip. Double dip. Double dip. Oh, wait, okay, guys. Who's ready for comedian number four? Yeah. Give it up for Angela Sawyer. Angela. Hell yeah. Keep it going until she gets to the stage, Angela. everybody. Angela. Oh, hello. So nice to meet you. It's your lady, the Rizzle and Miss Frizzle. Hello. <laughs> so nice to talk to you. Uh, I uh, just moved here to New York about a month ago. I'm one of those people. Hi. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it. Uh, I uh, Before this, I lived in Boston for 35 years, uh, where I did not get married or have any children. So I guess I was just hanging out at Dunkin' Donuts. I don't know what to tell you. Uh, and then I... Uh, I did, I think, yeah. I did it wrong. You're not supposed to like live somewhere and then move to Bushwick. That's, yeah, that's wrong. <laughs> I, I think I just looked around in my life and I was like, what is one thing I could do that would just make me seem a little more divorced? And 
<laughs> I found it. Yeah, I think I found it. Uh, I don't think I have to explain myself to you guys that much. I, you guys saw me immediately. This is uh, Williamsburg, and you guys were like, we get it, lady. Your cat loves vinyl. We get it. <laughs> You're not wrong. Uh, but b uh, because I'm older, I'm 54, uh, sometimes I meet people who don't get it. They don't know what uh, is happening. And it happened to me a couple of weeks ago. I was walking out of a store, and somebody else was walking in, and we had, did that thing. We shimmy through the door, you know, and I could hear her because her face was right next to my face. And she looks at me and she goes, are you a bisexual policewoman? <laughs> And I cannot answer that question. <laughs> you can't, there's no way to, I can't be like, I just cut my own hair. You can't, you can't say that. You can't do it. You can't erase. You can't say that. That's not cool. The only question I can answer is like, well, what if Cruella DeVille was poor? That's, <laughs> that is a question I can answer. And it might be the only one. <laughs> So yeah, things are okay. I just moved here. Uh, I have a new apartment, which I love. I, uh, I'm taking a lot of risks these days, going out to new places. And one of the places I went is down the end of my hall in my socks, <laughs> which was scary. And I, I discovered there's a trash chute in the building, and then I had to run back in and throw open the door and say to my roommates, we're rich! <laughs> Uh, for context, in my previous apartment, I uh, had to introduce my pet rats to the regular rats. <laughs> they did not get along. They didn't get along. It, ju it just didn't work out. Uh, okay, uh, I think that's it. Thanks. Angela! Hello! Hell yeah. If Miss Frizzle gave the kids LSD. Yeah. Is what I wrote down. Dots all days. Yeah. 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 That's all I got. Dude, that was funny. I like that a lot, dude. Thanks. Very charming. I love your knuckle tattoos. Thank you. Oh, they say jazz, jazz and jazz. Yeah. That's <laughs> in case you missed the first one. Did you it's get like, one? It's like good and evil, but also it's jazz hands. That's, <laughs> that's the tattoo. Which one's good? Which one's evil? Uh, this one's good. Oh, wait. What makes, why is it good? It's old. Oh, wait. <laughs> like me. Yeah, nice. this one's Wynton Marsalis. Got it. Yeah. <laughs> did you get them at the same time, or did you oh, go yeah. on your like, run it back? No, I got them the same time. It's, that's the coolest hand tattoo I've ever seen in my Thank life. You. I really like it. You're so odd. <laughs> <laughs> like, I know. No, no, but like, a, a, like aesthetically, you're so like you're someone like I'm gonna be odd, weird today. They would dress. Like I you. have too well, many things but, happening. But, yeah, but I you, got that. You talk and you seem very even, even keeled and kind of together. Yeah. So I wonder, like, regular human being were in you, there. Were you like? A, <laughs> Were you an addict? No. <laughs> Interesting. No. Interesting. No, I, if you're if you could be addicted to the Criterion Channel. <laughs> oh my God. Oh. That's my Thank you. I will I straight up want to live with you. I, I straight up want Mutual, it. my friend. Can when you, my roommate fucks up, you're next. Can, can you adopt me, but like for Ant? Yeah. <laughs> As an aunt? Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Be careful. He's got pussy off this move before. <laughs> Dude, I'll, it. 857 414 -0154, people. <laughs> I don't have a problem. You seem like you're addicted to something. <laughs> you know, we're, like, we're, it's, like, so it's like she got over it. Now she has like a new disposition on yeah. life. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna move to Bushwick and do comedy because I don't need the needle anymore. Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> like that's what and yeah, I think that's, it's a, wrong. that's a good I get person. That. That's, a, that's good person. a good person. No, the best people are people who are were addicted, we're addicted to over it because they really yeah. listen to you. Yeah, that's mm. I'm doing the first part now. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You'll be a good guy in like ten years. I have to go to the bathroom real quick. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, let's talk about your set. It was fun. <laughs> I like the uh, my favorite joke was the rats introducing your pet Thank rat you. to the uh, to the regular rats because I was like, Yeah, that's that's what she looks like. That's like her vibe. Uh, it's that's true. That's not a knock on you. That's just it. But no, it's true. The Miss Frizzle thing was confusing because Miss Frizzle oh, is yeah. a young, taut redhead. <laughs> this is fair. And I think it fits me because I remember the 80s and I belong on the bus. Mm, nice. You, <laughs> bars. <laughs> bars. <laughs> bars. <laughs> I, wrote the, I wrote the bus here. You look like Andy Warhol mama. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. 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 That's, that's right. <laughs> Dude, I was very confused on the just hanging out in the Dunkin' Donut joke. Oh, it's just a Boston joke. That's all. I liked it. I oh, didn't explain I it, it enough. I think instead you could tell us like a real way that you wasted your time there. Like, you know, it's like a... <laughs> 
Uh, I mostly wasted my time by saying no to dudes who mentioned Tom Brady. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I did. <laughs> mm. All right. Uh, yeah, man. It was uh, it was fun. It was a lot of like what I look like, and a lot of the look yes. like wasn't necessarily like what your uh, what you look like. I wouldn't say you look like a bi police woman. That's okay. And I also don't believe someone said that to you. I think okay. you made that up. Uh, yeah, I did. I made it up. It's true. I made it up. Fuck off the state. <laughs> get the fuck off my state. No, it's, it's true. Not, yeah. But people do, I do get, in real life, I do get recruited frequently from various teams. <laughs> Go on. Yeah, so like, that's yeah. not. Like ISIS. <laughs> no, not ISIS. <laughs> yeah. I get recruited for various things, and, uh, and I do think I have. Feels uh, like you mean like swingers parties, for real. I, well, I do. You, like, yeah, you look yeah. like you cater the swingers. Party. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I was just about to say, bring the snacks. Yeah, yeah. yeah I DJ the up. wedding. That's yeah. me. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, but you got you're fun. You got great energy. I just feel like you know the writing is a little bit. Uh, it's a little bit new. How long you been doing? Yeah, long, you been? long time. Uh, long? Over ten years. Oh, you, I, was, I can tell. If you definitely have the chops, and you're so fucking charming up there. Like Thanks. you definitely established. Yeah. Like you know, we like you so much, dude. Like it's Thanks. really fucked up. I like it here. Yeah. I don't know. That's kind of my whole note. Yeah, I think just just uh, you you could don't do like I look like jokes. You know, you could talk, you could talk about your 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 long interesting life. Okay. Yeah. I got gotcha. you. Which I'm sure I'm sure is bold. Yeah. I'm sure you have crazy stories. I do. Yeah. And uh, well, next time, tell me. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> you right. If you want to hang out or whatever. Yeah. <laughs> we'll do that. Cool. <laughs> that being said, I'm gonna have to give it a four. Okay. Yeah. Oh, no. oh, I thought the charm brought it to a, to yeah. a six. She has a great The charm brought it to a six for me. That's why we I'm got going other nine. I liked you so much. Hey. 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 You're so hey. You guys forget what the, the point of this is. Yeah. What, what is the point of she that? She was so likable. Oh. That's the point. You, 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 you got to have some shows, no, the point you know? that's to be funny. No, I, I thought she was funny. Nine. Right. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Give it up. Give it up. We love her, Angela, everybody. Um, next comedian, uh, Riley Suarez! Riley Suarez, get the hell on the stage, give it up for him. Uh, I just want to say off top, I'm never beating the drug dealer allegations. <laughs> but like, if I was in like the dare version of like, juice. Y'all don't know what juice is, you young fucks and French people. <laughs> I want to be honest, you guys are French, right? Yes, we oui? fuck you. I hate the French. I hate the French. Why? I don't fucking know why, actually, this is me coming to my biases of why do I hate the French? They're a bunch of fucking quitters. I just ruined my whole set. I just fucking, <laughs> but we're gonna keep it going. I don't give a fuck. I'm wearing a very puffy jacket inside with no air conditioning. <laughs> I'm having more fun than y'all are and that's fucking weird. Yeah, yeah. I saw, I, I can tell none of y'all tried to crack before. Yeah. Demetrius is writing down, he's done better than this. <laughs> I put $17 into this motherfucker just to do this shit. I am the greatest of all time. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> Let's have a go. Um, do you know what I'm jealous about? Actually, I'm not going to start off with that. That's very dark. Um, you'll find out at some point. Um... I used to, uh, when I was in high school, I used to play uh, football and I was also in theater. So I was a closeted bisexual and I did theater. <laughs> <laughs> if you don't understand that, there is more dry humping in those locker rooms than at a ditty party. It's insane. It's fucking wild, dog. I, there's a teammate of mine who, na who we call duty. I swear to God, this is the most Florida shit. This isn't Florida, by the way. Does it give you this? Who would grab you and throw you to the floor and dry hump you? Yes, Jesus is correct. Jesus wasn't there those days. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> let me cook, okay? Let me cook. I'm burning the kitchen, but let me cook. Fuck it. 
and I was mad because I'm not a one pump chump, man. And I'm, I, cause I'm queer, right? And they would always make fun of me for being queer. And I'm just like, y'all doing some gay shit though. Y'all doing some gay shit though. <laughs> but y'all doing some gay shit though. <laughs> you know what I'm jealous about? I'm gonna do it finally. Fuck it. I don't care. I already lost the room fucking five minutes ago <laughs> when I walked in. It's like he's not from here. <laughs> I'm jealous of the fact that women can lie about coming. And I can't. Because you have to have evidence as a dude. You have to have evidence. For example, one time I was sexually assaulted. And they asked me, did you come? And I was like, uh, let me just check real quick. <laughs> yep, I did. All right. <laughs> that guy fucked with it. <laughs> fucking bunch of fucking losers. And the French. That's my time. Thank you very much. I don't give a fuck. Rally Y'all can say what y'all want. Forest. Y'all can say what you want. I don't care. I don't want to be here. <laughs> oh, brother, man. Uh, yes, you all I, right? You good? I don't want to answer that question on camera. <laughs> oh, man. Riley, when he walked into the building, he tried to give me $5, and he was like, I just donated plasma today, baby. I'm up. He <laughs> <laughs> No, that wasn't why. I just, I'm just not good with my money. Um, uh, Is anyone surprised by that, by the way? (laughs) It was my first time today. It was my first donation. Go fuck yourself, all right? Damn. Why are you so defensive? I'm not defensive. It's been a... (laughs) Why are you that? I'm not defensive. (laughs) No, I'm I'm not defensive. (laughs) No, it's not being defensive. It's just more of the fact of just like, man, leave me alone. I think you should apologize to the French. (laughs) (laughs) No! (laughs) I will never apologize to the French. Give me one reason to not apologize to the French. They have so many reasons to not apologize to them. Give me one of them, and then you don't have to say you're sorry. Haiti. All right. Yeah. All right. <laughs> you guys. All right. <laughs> All right, you're up. Be honest. You're up. You're up. Yeah. That's a real. That's a real answer. Also, I just. I don't know. I just don't like the French. I don't know why. Oh it's, man. I like you guys. F- I mean, you guys seem great. Look at you. You guys don't even look French, which is great. <laughs> <laughs> just. They look a little. Right. They look French. All right. Like, no, no. Wait. Hold on. I uh, just uh, I uh, like, like just cause we're supposed to give feedback. Um, <laughs> I you ne- never beating the blank allegations is like a Twitter meme format that I don't think you should do in stand up because it's like you well, you should try to be strive to be more original in the, your delivery than that. And you can be. Um, but I just don't think that that sort of don't take like a st- it's like being like, you know, chicken cross the road like it's like stuff that people already have done in their heads and then when stuff's going badly like that um, re- you, you need to learn how to like relax and open up and then calmly go to the next bit instead of tightening and getting angry because that just puts people more at odds was I angry? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you, you, told, you told the audience <laughs> to go fuck themselves like four or five times <laughs> and that's, that's, never, that's, not a, that's, that's just my general vocabulary that's just your vibe guys yeah, 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 my yeah, general, yeah. I, I can be crushing and I'll still go, go fuck yourself the, the, sure I mean Maybe take that part out of the set. I, 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 I don't know what that was. Yeah, I'm not doing good. Uh, you want to? You want to go home? <laughs> you want to go home? No. <laughs> We're going. Don't awe me. <laughs> you, okay, I see your problem. I see the. I see the problem. <laughs> I see the problem. I'm very. <laughs> See, the issue is I have troubles with intimacy <laughs> because everyone left. <laughs> mm. I hope you're able to like find some uh, healing, and I know it's a journey. Oh no! Oh, oh, believe me, this is not one of my worst nights. Uh, no, but like in, in like general, yeah. Oh no! Believe me, this is not one of my worst nights. Believe me. Got it. <laughs> uh, so I think we need to reset the. You well, I don't know if I should. I don't. Yeah, no. Nah, we can reset the. Y'all room. can reset the room. <laughs> We're gonna reset once the, you leave. The okay, room. okay, okay. <laughs> then we'll start a new oh, room. Okay. <laughs> Damn. It's, All right. It's comedy club. Remember comedy club. We're making. All right. Jokes. I tried we still something. Love you. We, you know what, guys? He tried something. Give it up for him. Wait, 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 we, wait, 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 wait,
points. I, it just, just, just give me that, man. I'll give you one point. Thank God. For <laughs> Let's the, go for the Haitian people. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. Uh, I mean, I, I shit on the Europeans, and then you did too. So solidarity, two points. <laughs> Fuck yeah, baby. I'm on top. But I really enjoyed when I visited. <laughs> Uh, no, I would. I would never go to Europe. I will never. I didn't, but I won't hold it against you. It was a long story. I'm um, not going, but I do have a bidet. So. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Did you guys, you guys, you guys did Japanese crush it with that, and my yeah. asshole is so clean because of you. Mm. Three points. All right, three points. You got five points. Make some noise for Riley. Give it up for Riley, Riley, everybody. Hell yeah. You got? Do you have a bidet? You bidet? Yes, I do. Austin, do you bidet? Yeah, of course. Yeah, hell yeah, dude. Clap if you bidet in here. <laughs> Yeah. So ultimately, we do owe a lot to the French people and their snootiness and their cleanliness and their little water in your butt. Okay. <laughs> All right. You guys ready for your sixth comedian of the night? Yeah. yeah. Put your hands together for Alim, everybody. Alim Radanasi. Yeah. Make more noise than that. Let's do full reset. Hello, Yay. everybody. We're back. We're having a good time. We're out tonight. This guy's going to go fucking tell some jokes. Um, I was visiting my friend over the weekend, and I walked into his house to see his dad uh, watching Fox News, um, which was actually pretty comforting for me. Um, but I quickly found out that he and I were following the Republican campaign for very different reasons. Um, I'm following because I'm an immigrant, and I'm terrified of being deported right now. That's not why he was watching it. <laughs> Very different reasons. I, I am an immigrant, uh, so I'm a threat to all of you. Um, I'm, a, I'm a bad hombre. Um, well, I, I am an immig I'm an immigrant from Canada. Um, and I, I know that like, the Republicans are mostly talking about like, immigrants from the South as that threat, um, but I'm Muslim. So I'm pretty sure I'll be grandfathered in for that. <laughs> a threat to national security. Um, I, uh, like, okay. I, I actually appreciate it because I know now that there's things that I need to clarify when I'm talking to Americans. Like one, I'm not here to steal your jobs. Um, I'm not here to traffic in fentanyl, uh, even though it's way cheaper in Canada. Um, uh, I'm not here to murder any of you. I'm not here to rape any of you. I'm not going to eat your dogs. Uh, I did eat Angela's cat, though. Uh, I just hate cats. Um, I, uh, OK. I, OK, so I am Muslim, um, which is tricky because I'm probably gay. Um, <laughs> Um, like, 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 I do have a girlfriend, but I have a girlfriend because I'm Muslim, uh, not because I'm straight. Um, <laughs> people, people give me a really hard time about that. They're like, well, why can't you, why can't you accept yourself for who you are? A Muslim's really that homophobic? Yeah. <laughs> like, like, to give you a reference point, Muslims treat gay Muslims almost as bad as how gays treat gay Republicans. Um, it's close. It's not that bad. Um, I do, that being said, I do like being Muslim because, like, it gives me purpose. And not like the kind of purpose you get from being part of a community where like everybody has the same mental illness and believing in God. Um, I mean like the kind of purpose I get from giving other people purpose. Like I give people purpose just for being Muslim. Like have you ever thought of where Bill Maher would be if Muslims didn't exist? <laughs> like okay, to be honest, it's not even his violent Islamophobia that bothers me, it's like his smugness. I can't get over how sure of himself he is. Like I feel like if Bill Maher, like someone offered Bill Maher to get his dick sucked, he'd say no. And not because he's not into it, but because he thinks he could do a better job. Um, I, uh, I had Taco Bell today. Um, it's not something I'm proud of. I go like three times a week and I refuse to join the rewards program. Uh, do, you, do, you, do, you guys, do you guys know about the rewards program at Taco Bell? Where you go like nine times and on the 10th time you get put on a suicide watch list? All right, and I'm gonna leave it there. Thanks so much, guys. Yeah! Before I ask you questions about you being gay with a girlfriend, you know this is all live streamed on the internet, right? Oh, fuck. No one. <laughs> Don't worry, not a lot of people watch. <laughs> it's not a successful that, live stream. It's, it's just live stream. It's not like posted permanently. Yeah, no, it's posted permanently. Yeah. Permanent. Yeah. Post -post permanent. And, uh, yeah. Yeah. Mm. Okay. She's not watching, so that's okay. <laughs> that's fine. Has she seen you do stand up before your girlfriend? Uh, I refuse to let her. Really? Yeah. Well, it's, it's how, long you been been <laughs> how long have you been dating? Uh, eight years. That's <laughs> fucking crazy. I've, I've only been doing stand up for a little less than a year. Man. Okay, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. No, that's, that's really good for that, by the way. That's okay. really good for less than a year. Yeah. Uh, is she Muslim? Yeah. Is she gay? 
Uh, <laughs> We, it's weird, because we exchange attraction to same sexes. Dude, so wait, what, can what I pitch a tag that for you? Yeah, absolutely. Can I pitch a tag for you, because I feel like this is funny? Say, so he's a gay Muslim, right? It's like, if you're a Muslim, gay or not, you're going to need to get a beard. <laughs> you guys familiar with what that term means? <laughs> That's when you have a fake girlfriend, yes. so no one knows you're gay. It's really clever and smart what I did. <laughs> you did good. Thank I you. Can we, right wait, here. back up a second. You say we exchange Attraction for different sexes. Yes. What does that mean? Like Pokemon cards? Like you play them? <laughs> kind like, of. Like, like she's into guys and then you are. And no, then... she's into Emma Watson. I'm into like Lakeith Stanfield. That was the gayest thing at first. Anyone <laughs> fucking say, what? <laughs> Who is the second person you said? Uh, have you seen Get Out? Uh huh. She's the guy with like the straw hat. Oh, like the very he's expressive. in Atlanta. He's Donald yeah. Glover's friend in Atlanta. The Not big, paper the big one or the little no, one? The little one. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah, he's cool. I like. He him. is very cool. I get yeah. that. Yeah, it's yeah. eyes. It's I've never it's seen exactly. a Muslim wear the Newsies hat. Has yeah, anyone else seen a Muslim guy wear a Newsies hat ever? <laughs> I mean, Aziz Ansari wore it. In That's that not Muslim. Muslim. He's Hindi. He grew up Muslim. No, he's Muslim. <laughs> yeah. All right, fuck. Yeah. What do I know? I, yeah. You know what? Oh, dude, Canadian Aziz Ansari, more like Aziz. I'm sorry. All right, <laughs> all right, all right. I'm. I'm. Lucky I hate it here. <laughs> <laughs> here. You know what? And you know, what? props to you. Clearly saved the room because earlier we were dealing with like someone's sexual assault. So like, way to fucking bring it back together. So yeah. Why'd you bring up Aziz Ansari? Huh? <laughs> hey. Nice. Oh. We're having fun. We're having fun. We're having, We're having fun. fun. It's weird that your pants are so tight at the bottom and loose at the top. That is bothering me. I'm so sorry. Are the, what are those for? Rock climbing? Are those for like spelunking? They're for after running, I think. After running? Yeah. Did you run today? <laughs> I biked. You biked. Yeah. You can wear regular pants. <laughs> and you know what? I'm not going to stop doing this to people. <laughs> Dude, uh, I think for your like set, for a year in, I, I like what you were doing. You're very confident. Uh, but there were some points where I was like, what is he going to say? You said the Fox News dad. You said, this is why I'm watching. But you didn't give us the other side of why he's watching as explicitly as I would have like, okay. liked for you to do that. Like, oh, what? oh. Thanks, Casey. One more beer. Thanks, Casey. Hell yeah. Make some noise for Casey, everybody. Yeah, Casey, everybody. Mm -hmm. yeah. I think that uh, I think that you are you're, you got strong premises too. I think we were really on board with like the Bill Maher thing, but you just need a different thing at the end instead of him sucking at his own dick because he thinks that he could do it better. <laughs> Might just switch it up for something else. Talk about rewards program. Great fucking joke. Great fucking joke for a year in. Congratulations, you got yeah, that was joke. funny. Yeah. yeah, that'll get you out of a dark place. No, for real, one year in, that was a solid asset. Especially you came into a, a, a hostile environment, <laughs> <laughs> to say the least. And for a year in, and and French environment too. They don't like Canadians. What do you mean? We're, or Muslims. We're they mostly don't like Muslims. I think they feel fine about Canadians. They fucking hate Muslims. You guys, they went, oh, they went like all the way fascist. It's crazy. No, they you guys, I'm sure, are great people. Yeah. And I enjoyed my visit. The French are fascists. <laughs> no, they Sorry, hate, they you, hate Canadians, Why would dude? they hate Canadians? Because oh. they don't. They think that they bastardize their language. Oh, be French like, oh, Canadians. Are you, are you, are French thing? Canadians. Yeah. How do you guys yeah, feel about Canadians. French Canadians? You're a liar. Oh, You're a liar. <laughs> You're a two-faced Napoleon good. You know Bonaparte. what? Actually, as, as an American, those guys fucking suck worse than you. Yeah. I swear, okay. What the hell? I'm right here. <laughs> what? French? You're not French-Canadian. Oh, well, yeah, okay. They're annoying. <laughs> French-Canadians are annoying. They're, like, they're in yeah. Canada, but they only speak French, and yeah. they have to, like, come on. Yeah. Sorry, everybody loves French-Canadians here. <laughs> um, we, uh, what score do you want? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> I don't know. Oh, pick your own score now. Pick your own score. Your own yeah. score How do you think you <laughs> Ladies <laughs> score for you. You can, you can pick my score for me. Uh, I'm kind of nervous because I get pretty self-deprecating. Huh? Yeah. Uh, yeah. For sure. Say 10. You can say 10. Say 10. You could. Can you say 10 for me? No, I'm not going to give you that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what can get me on the leaderboard? Huh? Dude, I uh, just pick a fucking number. Okay, 8. Huh? All right. Well, I guess it's an 8. Hell yes. yeah. Oh, my God. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> don't apply. Applaud that. that, this was, is, yeah, that was you need to decision. change your outlook on life. If someone says, pick your own score, you pick the highest score you could possibly get yourself, okay? You take what you can get in this life. Okay, can I try again? With no. no, that was it. You get one chance now. No. He lost his chance. Oh, no. I'm, revoking it. <laughs> no, gets, I'm revoking it. He gave it. himself an eight. He gets an eight. You give, I, I, I didn't, it was pretty good, but it was a dead room, and you made it better. I'm giving you a seven, and I loved I'm, it a lot. Well, I'm, going, I'm going seven also. Oh, okay. All right, yeah. that puts you on the leaderboard. Yay, you you're on the Leaderboard. Make some noise for Olimas. He gets off. Hell yeah. Hell yeah.
I can't read cursive very well. Oh, okay. Are you ready for the next comedian? What is this, the seventh comedian of the night? We're more than halfway through our show. You got energy for him? Make some noise for Jaquan Martin, everybody! Hello, everybody. Hello. Hey, good to be here. Good to see all of you. Good to see one of my people. See one of my people in the back. One of my brethren. One of my kin. Talking about the bald guy back there, of course. I'm not bald yet, obviously, but it's covered. You know, both my grandfathers are bald, so this hairline's on a timer. It's going. And, you know, I feel instantly connected with bald people, too, because I've noticed a lot of them have the same mannerisms as my bald father. Yeah, they, uh, they think I'm gay and they want to yell at me. <laughs> now, my dad's cool. He's cool. I, the other day, I walked in on him uh, eating popcorn out of a colander, which uh, is relatively harmless, but I can't lie. It, it pissed me off. I got mad. Because that's definitely something he would have hit me upside the head for if he caught me doing it as a kid. He, was, he used to hit me upside the head for everything, you know? Fucking up on homework. Pep. Falling asleep in church. Pep. One time I was choking on a hard candy. You think he gave me the Heimlich? No, 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 no. He charged that bitch up. He said, hmm. pep, 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 pep. It echoed. It. <laughs> it worked, though. I'm not going to lie. I mean, I swallowed the hard candy. He gave me the reverse Heimlich. <laughs> she used to hurt, too. I didn't have hair. I was defenseless, you know. I was, I was a defenseless boy. It was bad. I can't wait. I can't wait till he's a defenseless old man. Ooh, I'm going to unleash hell on his head, man. <laughs> yeah, watch out a real bull. Come on, watch out a real fucking bull. It's not a real bull. Are you fucking gay, huh? Are you gay? Are you gay, old man? Tell me you're proud of me. Come on, tell me you're proud of me, genius. Come on. He used to do that. Like, he used to call me genius, sarcastically. Come on, genius. Huh? It hurt, because I was pretty smart as a kid. I used to like, read when I was three years old. I was like really read. I actually wrote things. You know. That hurt more than the, the slaps and the gay stuff. To be called something sarcastically that you think you are, you know? Come here, glasses. Yeah, see? Come here, black shirt. That hurts, right? <laughs> no? Well, you're fucking gay. There you go. That's. <laughs> Trying to think of a last joke to do. Uh... <laughs> 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 and there you go. All right. All right. Thank you. Really using his time. Really, really taking it. Dude, where are you from? How long have you been doing it? Queens. Hell yeah. Two years. What part of Queens? Queens Village. All right. I don't know that part of Queens. I know. <laughs> yeah. Just going to sit on my dad's head here real quick. <laughs> oh, man, bro. Yeah, sure, yeah. That felt like a one-man show. Yeah, that was uh, very one-man show. Very, very one-man show. Yeah, yeah, yeah it was yeah. very raw and pure. Yeah, not that funny. Not that funny, but very raw and pure. Yeah, very raw, very pure. And yeah. you're, you're also, you have a very likable uh, presence on stage. But you, it's not like you're that interested in hitting punchlines. <laughs> so it's an interesting dynamic where, like, I really I like you and I want to laugh, but you just are, like, not going to do it. <laughs> you're like, I'm not going to hit punchlines. <laughs> Watching his smile fade for 30 seconds was some scary shit, man. Yeah. yeah. And then also the whole, like, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to think of a last joke to say. You had all day to think of, to plan it out ahead of time. You had several years. I didn't want to. That you didn't want to. Yeah, I just let it go for like thirty seconds so I could just. Yeah. End. Yeah. Well, you if you uh, if you wanted to think of something to say and then you did, then it might go better. No, I, I didn't want to. I didn't want to think of some. That's what. I was sorry. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's your life. <laughs> oh man. So like you've been doing it for two years. So I'm gonna be a little, a little, a little honest with you. Yeah, yeah. Go for it. I wasn't. No, you, you know. 
there we go. That was my feedback. <laughs> no, man, you got to punch that shit up. You can't just come up on stage and be like, my dad thinks I'm gay. It's a very common thing that happens. We've been doing the show for a while, and so often somebody who's been doing comedy for like a very short amount of time. Yeah, comes people, on stage comedians, like, when you grow up, your dad thinks you're gay. Yeah. Because you, you're trying to be funny and yeah. you're a weird little kid, and your dads don't know the difference between that and a gay person. Facts. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but like the hitting was, I was uncomfortable. I felt, I was sorry for you. I felt bad when you were doing the hitting. It wasn't like funny child beating. Cause you, okay. you know that hilarious child yeah. beating that we all know and love. What's you know when you see yeah. a kid, you know when you see a mom hit their son, you're like ah that, but that one that was no no like Homer Simpson and Bart's like ah, sure sure you know, sure like, that, that is the funny, funny one that's right? funny that is funny because that. they're not real people. Yeah yeah. <laughs> child. It's because it's a cartoon. Yeah I get it. Yeah you're a whole guy. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> mm. Yeah, I don't even know what to say, to be honest. Let's move it along. I think we've been taking too long with these. <laughs> I think, I yeah. feel the energy in the room leaving, and I want to get... Well, no, I want to try to figure out how to make it better, because I feel like you did win the audience all back a little bit when you were beating on your defenseless dad. But... <laughs> no, see, and they came back again. They like that a lot. So they really hate your dad. So I would focus on that. Yeah, Fo yeah. Yeah, focus fuck on my, the rage. Fuck my dad. Yeah. yeah. Uh, yes. Four. Uh, three. Uh, dude, I'm gonna give that one a two. Oh, uh, thank you. Uh, the live stream's not on, by the way. I was only gonna say something if I got on, so. Uh, the live stream's not on? No, I checked YouTube like mad times. Oh, it's okay. We tried Twitch this time. Oh, Twitch was okay. Oh, cool, cool, well, thank, thank you. For All right. It. Okay, hey, hey, uh, Twitch uh, streamers, where you go to send us some thumbs up in Twitch. the chat or whatever yeah, yeah, the fuck yeah. you guys do. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, chat lock in. Chat, chat lock in. in. Twitch, chat, look. All right. Oh, I got one. I got one. Make some noise one. for Jaquan, everybody. Oh, man. Yeah. Are you guys ready for your next comedian tonight? Put your hands together right now for Trevor Siebert. Trevor! Trevor! Trevor, show him how it's done, Trevor. We need you, Trevor. Hell yeah, it's it's Liberty, but I guess I can't write very well. It's Trevor Liberty. Hi, you guys. How's it going? Everyone good? I think the French are fine. Um, <laughs> yeah. Didn't like that guy at all, dude. That was crazy. Um, anyways, a little bit about me. I uh, graduated from high school. Nice. Thank you. Thanks. I uh, got into college. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I started selling drugs immediately. Pretty cool. Nice. Yep. Uh, knocked up my college girlfriend. Nice. Whoa. Yep. Got arrested. Whoa. Failed out of college. Oh, this is crazy. Got married. <laughs> then I got divorced. Then I had a kid. <laughs> and then I turned 23 years old, you guys. <laughs> what the fuck, dude? That's <laughs> that's a lot of life and not a lot of time, dude. That's that's some crazy stuff, dude. I'm like the world's youngest 40-year-old man. I'm going through these fucking problems. Just like speed running to the very end. I filed for bankruptcy right before this mic. It was good. <laughs> nice. Uh, yeah, dude, I had a welcome back. Thanks for coming back. Um, yeah, I, uh, I love my kid. She's eight, and she's great. And I tell her that pretty much every time I talk to her. It's uh, it's a mnemonic to help me remember how old she is. <laughs> Eight, great, nine, fine, ten. Uh, we'll figure it out then. You know, that's uh, that's good. Yeah. I had a huge moment this year, though, you guys. I had a huge moment. I had a custody battle with my ex-wife, you guys, and I won the custody battle. Yeah. Come on, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. Yeah. She has full custody of the child now, so it's. <laughs> Perfect situation for me. And now I, I, I lost the battle. I lost the battle. You know, she, she may have won the battle, but I, I'm probably losing the war, too. Let's be honest. I, it's cool, though. I had, a, had my daughter here for a few weeks. That was awesome. I have to, like, watch how I speak when I'm around her. Like, I have a filthy mouth, but she's eight, and I'm a long-distance parent, so I have to, like, adjust when she's around. So instead of saying words like, uh, shit, I'll be like, shoot. Right? Or instead of saying fuck, I'll say fudge. I had a call come in on my phone and she's like, Daddy, who's calling you right now? And instead of saying vile bitch, I had to be like, Oh, it's your mommy, sweetie. Here's the phone. It's <laughs> just your mom. <laughs> um, dude, we were on the we were on the train and I bumped my arm really hard and I was like, fudge. And my daughter, she's eight, you know, and uh, she was like, Dad, I know what the F word is. I was like, How could you know that? You're eight, you don't know what the F word is. And so I challenged her. I was like, okay, if you know what the F word is, what does the F word rhyme with? And she looks at me and she goes, easy, future. <laughs> what? <laughs> so I was like, okay, obviously she doesn't know what it is. So I like, tell her to come over to me and tell her to tell me the word. She whispered in her, she goes, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> that's not how rhyming works, buddy. That's your future is definitely fucked, but that's that's not how that goes. That's my time. I've been Trevor Lurie. Thanks. Trevor! Yay! Trevor Liberty. Oh, it's easy man. to remember because they took yours away for a little bit. That's right. Yes. Yeah. Freedom. Yeah. Yeah. What so. uh, do you uh, do? You still sell drugs, or what is your job now? <laughs> I, I, I can talk to you after. That's, fine. that's what you're asking. Yeah. Talk, yeah. talk to me right now. It's just yeah. Twitch. You can't lose custody. A second <laughs> time, you're, a you're right. You're right. <laughs> can I not buy drugs no. at the Pop House Comedy Club? Yeah. On the off chance my ex-wife is watching this, definitely don't sell anything ever. <laughs> Dude. You yeah. hear that, you evil bitch? <laughs> <laughs> Fucking, yeah, that's right. You fucking heard it. No, I'm just kidding. Dude, no. I hope she fucking Please don't this, clip that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, please don't. Yeah. yeah. That's so, so funny. You live so much life. Dude, I know, right? Yeah. yeah. Are you okay? No, dude. Not, yeah, not that's great. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You hold it together well. Oh, I appreciate that. You wear, these are, these pants do look like they belong to a guy that sells coke, though. I feel that. <laughs> I like that. I like it, too. Yeah, They're very good. Thanks. Can I make with a that? guess as to why that happened with your life? <laughs> Can I? I? Yeah, it's your show, man. <laughs> Good penis. Let's go, dude. Whoa! No, no, I've seen it before. You give a white guy six and a half plus, his life's down the tubes. <laughs> <That's> so <laughs> it's so bad. It's so bad. I totally get it. It's not your fault, brother. Dude, I, that's what I've been saying this whole time, man. Absolutely. <laughs> that was fucking funny. I don't have any notes for what, you whatsoever. Uh, what steps are you taking to make sure your daughter doesn't come out a disaster also? <laughs> are you asking me honestly? Or yeah. like... <laughs> I'm, cur I'm curious. Or you can well, make staying away from well, her. That's I, the first uh, step. <laughs> ouch. Uh, <laughs> I talked to her on FaceTime twice a week. Twice yeah. a week. Not bad. Pretty good numbers. How's pretty good numbers. She's doing well in school. My, my dad never called me on FaceTime when I was growing up, man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He was just around, you know. Yeah, it was. <laughs> 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 All right. He was just around. Yeah, <laughs> bro, you're so funny, dude. Yeah, That's funny, dude. It's sure. crazy that you're so fucking likable. They're doing these jokes, and we still like you. I don't know. I like you so fucking much. Let's go, dude. Like it's fucked up. I'm like, oh, he has to give him his daughter back. You know? Yeah, come on, please. I don't care what he did. Very, give it back to her. Much. No, that's fucking, dude. Yeah. Congrats on everything, dude. Oh. Seriously. <laughs> no, no, yeah, no, 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 congrats. No, congrats. no, no, no. Yeah, your life fucking blows, but a bunch of people laugh. That's pretty good. Yeah, that's good. No, that is cool to be able to fucking come out the other side and be able to like present you know what I mean yeah. I think as, pretty yeah, as long as you're funny it's okay no matter what you do <laughs> that's what right sweetie pay attention that's <laughs> <laughs> What was the thing you told me in college that, that was, one time? Uh, I want to be so funny that people uh, hang out with me even though they don't like me. <laughs> <laughs> that was the day I met James, That was, by the the and then we were like, <laughs> that was my intro to James, yeah. and I was like, okay, cool, we can uh, And the, And uh, does uh, mom's doing okay? Like, is it supporting? She lives with her parents. Oh, so, so everyone's kind of a mess. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I was worried that she had, like, new husband, house, fucking... Unfortunately, it's not going to happen for her. <laughs> <laughs> I think... I think your daughter is actually going to be really cool and like, too. have like a cool like life outlook um, because a lot of times those people have like fucked up parents. <laughs> <laughs> Eight out of ten, eight point five. Thank you. Love hey, the thank jokes, you. bro. Nine point five. That was funny as shit, dude. Thank My you, daughter's gonna be fucked. Future, good yeah. shit, dog. Thank you, thank dude, you, dude. Honestly, you for honestly, I'm I'm gonna go. I feel like for the night, that was a ten. That was wow. Great. Oh, let's go, dude. Let's Trevor go. Freedom. He got a good. He got a great welcome. crescendo. Welcome, welcome to the leaderboard, Trevor. He ended almost on a fucking applause break. Trevor, you killed set. that shit for the night. Though, you're right. Trevor, you're right. we love I you. Was being a little Put us in front of the damn parole board next time. Okay, we'll, we'll figure it out. Oh, uh, yeah, we'll get you your daughter back, <laughs> sir. <laughs> Win the comedy lottery, you'll see her child again. Um, <laughs> comedian number nine. I, let's see, find out if she has kids. Give it up for Steph Brown, everybody. Steph Brown, get on up on the stage. Brown. What's up? What's up? Thanks. <laughs> Uh, I was walking here and I saw this girl. She had a T-shirt on. It just said abortion across the chest. It's like maybe I'm not as tolerant as I think I am. Okay. Like where'd you get that? I went to Planned Parenthood and all I got was this abortion T-shirt. Right? I don't know. Sorry if I seem off. My ex's best friend, the hot one. <laughs> he just got engaged. <laughs> Like, how am I getting back with him? Back at him for sleeping with his boss now? <laughs> it's not funny. It is sad. Um, I'm single. Stay in your seats. 
I'm begging. Um, it's funny. I'm on Bumble, right? And all my hot friends are on Bumble, and their whole thing is like, you know, Steph, like, it's such a self-esteem boost. Like, you have to get on. Mm. <laughs> I'm gonna log on Bumble. A guy's gonna tell me he loves curvy women. I'm not gonna eat for four days. You understand? <laughs> okay? It's on a self esteem boost for me. Um, I went home the other weekend. I'm from Westchester. And it's funny being in the suburbs and not driving, right? There's like nothing to fucking do. Um, and I'm a terrible driver. I just, it, there's too much going on, right? Like, you want me to check my rear view mirror while I'm changing lanes? I'm driving right now. <laughs> I'm literally in the middle of something. <laughs> okay, I don't know. I'm like super lucky they didn't give out like women's rights selectively. <laughs> It's true. A lot of men don't know this, but in 1974, women got the right to have their own credit card, okay? Fast forward 40 years, 2014, I used that same right to a credit card to spend hundreds of real dollars in the Kim Kardashian iPhone game. <laughs> Did I deserve that right? <laughs> Probably not. I don't know. I think I'm a bad feminist. You guys are like, yeah, you're talking. And so we can hear you. Um, no, I have a friend, and his girlfriend was like, I don't think we'll achieve full equality until we have an all-gender draft. Whoop, I don't want it. <laughs> right? Maybe 75 cents a dollar is not that bad. Okay? Look, I have a lot going on personally. I feel like you got that vibe when I came up here. Do I look like I could go to war to you? No, I'm going to cry after this. You understand? <laughs> All right, guys, that's my time. I'm Steph Brown. Steph Brown. Yay. Yay. Holding women back. Give it up for her. <laughs> <laughs> You were saying what we were all thinking, dude, and I really appreciate it. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what I meant by that either, but yeah, I thought it was funny. Do yeah, yeah. um, you hate women? No, I was playing. Okay. Do you hate women? Yes. Okay, cool. <laughs> I, and I think that's wrong. <laughs> <laughs> and I think that's kind of fucked up of me. <laughs> no, I think your, yours is really funny. You're I like very your, funny. I like your vibe. I like the voice. Your voice is funny. Yeah. Uh, and I mean that in like the scholarly sense, like her writing voice yeah. and her actual voice is it's funny. It's profound, a bit. I would yeah. say, for sure. Yeah. And and you sort of have like a big vocal fry and that's funny to listen to. Yeah, um, I've heard that. It's like a character on Big Mouth a little bit. Yeah. Yeah, that's... No. Uh, sure. <laughs> I like that you started out and you you weren't getting a lot of laughs started out, but you stayed in the pocket and you were just like stayed calm and did your jokes. Then you won everyone over, and that's like, uh, how long have you been doing stand up? A uh, year and a half. Whoa, oh, yeah. really? What the Great. fuck? Because that's yeah. like a really oh, you killed that shit, dude. That's a good that's yeah. a good instinct. That's good instinct. Yeah. yeah, way to go. Damn, that's really good. A lot of people would have freaked out like if the, cause the first joke didn't do well, and then the abortion T-shirt thing is uh, he wrote them down. Thankfully. Um, because that didn't do well. A lot of people would have you gotten anxious, but you didn't. You stayed in it. When that's really, I mean, you might be really high. I'm not sure. Uh, so I'm actually normally really high. I'm not high at all right now. Interesting. Whoa. Um, yeah. I love the gum too. Yeah. Thank you. Because it's, it's like you're like fuck it. I don't give. I a don't shit. care. Yeah. I just they just called my name. I got on stage. I, that's what happens. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's exactly what happened. We we or they. <laughs> yeah, yeah, dude. I thought that was really funny. I think you like you dug yourself a little bit in a hole at the beginning. Like the abortion T-shirt, the initial line was like funny, but then the tags that didn't hit and the ex uh, ex best friend engaged thing. I think he might have lost us because it was like a little bit too many words. But the second you hit like the single shit all the way to the end, I feel like you caught your stride. It was really good. Yeah, I liked it. Yeah. Thanks. Bro, we. we Heavy, good set, dude. I'm a fucking uh, 9.5. Whoa. Yeah, all right. Nine I'm going to go 8.5. Eight eight yeah, I'm going to go 8.5. I'm going to go I'm gonna go 7.5, but you're on the leaderboard. Yeah, so make Steph sense. Brown, everybody. Oh, yeah. Welcome to the leaderboard. Comedian number 10, make some noise for Shay. Yeah. What's up? So I'm celibate right now. And, you know, celibacy is not a choice you just, like, make once and you're celibate. Like, every morning you got to wake up and you got to keep making that decision. And I want to thank everybody in here because you guys are making it mad easy. <laughs> Yo, when I was a kid, I thought I had Down syndrome. 
Well, I was like in kindergarten, like legitimately, like I'll be looking in the mirror and I'll be like, but my ears are way too big. <laughs> <laughs> and I think the reason for that is like the smarter you are, the more retarded they treat you. It's fine. I could say it. I'm autistic. Huh? No, like I, I, I would just be pacing the classroom, like not playing with anyone. So like they thought I was slow, but like I was thinking about philosophy. You know, <laughs> I was philosophizing. Like I was thinking, like yo, like if I came out my mom, like why do I have my dad's nose? Like how, how that even happen? <laughs> and nobody would tell me. <laughs> I was like, how did I get dad's jeans? Like, nobody would tell me. I knew they were hiding shit from me. <laughs> I was like, what if, what if what I see as red, someone else sees as blue? Like, we don't see colors the same. That was me in kindergarten. And now I'm unemployed. <laughs> <laughs> my, like, my, my mom, she used to always say, I'm too smart for my own good. You know? And I, I realized she was calling me autistic. Because, <laughs> like, autism is the only population where, like, the higher your IQ is, the more likely you are to, like, you know, be nice to me. <laughs> yeah. I, I, yeah, I, I did, I did have my IQ tested, actually, like, as part of my autism assessment. Average. <laughs> I got, I got like a 98. But the thing is, like, it, it makes so much f sense, cause like, that's the IQ of the average American. And I always knew the average American had the same amount of intelligence as like me on three hours of sleep. <laughs> that's my time. <laughs> Give it up for Shay, everybody. <laughs> threatening to do things if we don't like her. So so get on board real quick. You know what a I mean? A note on that, if you want to like, uh, that, this this is a hand gesture for suicide doesn't read as suicide. Oh. Like you went like that. That for me, I was confused as to that. That was you cutting your head off. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I would do like that. Yeah, I would do a little bit of that, a little bit of that, yeah, that, so that, that. Yeah, a little bit. Maybe pull out a real gun and start loading it. Yeah, how to kill myself? Like pills, like that. You know what I mean? You're, I, I know, I know you from like open mics. You're really funny. This seemed like this was like new stuff that you're doing. Yeah. Yeah. So it needs to be punched up, but there were some good laughs in there, and I mean, I think you're great from before. You're good at comedy, but so yeah, new stuff is new. Why don't you do old stuff? Try to win money. Do your old good stuff. Try to win money. Cause here. like I already won money, so. Yeah, <laughs> okay, okay, all right. Oh, <laughs> she got to retire. So oh, she already won this game. Uh, yeah. like, I, gotta make I would never come back if I won. I never try. I've never been too scared to. I'm be just there. trying new stuff. Cause why not? All right, yeah. cool. You tell me not to come here. <laughs> yeah, get, get the fuck out. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I think yeah, it definitely felt like super new. I would say number one. I don't know if it's like I can't. I don't know what to say with the the drop in the R word thing. I, I don't know if you like lost people immediately on it or if they mm. were like fully like if they were fully back on board once you said that. Why do comedians want to say it so much? <laughs> it's fine to not. Like it doesn't need. Like no one needs you to say it. <laughs> It's her, right? <laughs> it's her, right? I'm not saying it. Yeah, yeah. I, mean, yeah. I could say it. What? Oh, because of the I, autism stuff. Yeah. No, because you don't read autistic enough to say it. Yeah, you're only saying that because you're Talk to her for three more minutes. Just talk to her for three more minutes. I only say that. You're going to read it. No, I'm being honest. I'm being honest. Oh. Someone, if you read, if you, or maybe you started out and talked about how you're autistic, but you said it before you mentioned that you're autistic, and I don't think you read autistic enough, if, like, in the way you're talking visually immediately to get. That's why someone, it didn't get a laugh, and someone went when you said that, because people don't know that that's your situation. Okay. Yeah, and I also. I'll restructure it. Okay. Thanks for the feedback. Mm. <laughs> you seem you seem Believe really now, pissed yeah. off. <laughs> nah. nah, dude, that was genuine. I, I don't have. Uh, see, that's the autism. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> got it, got it, got it. <laughs> All right, say the word as much as you want. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think uh, I think this is the new stuff too with like the being smart when you were a little kid. Like the red blue thing, I feel like we were totally on board with them, but like the so smart, like not playing with other kids in the dad's nose. I feel like those are not like the examples you want to use for like how you know you were like the smart kid. There's funnier examples to find. And um, I, yeah, I don't know. I don't love the more likely to kill yourself. So then you guys got to like me. Like, it's okay. You don't got to do that one. Uh, also, with the you taking the IQ test, you said something about you on three hours of sleep. And da-da-da. those are things like that we, I know, because you've like told me like personally, but like when you're an audience member and you hear those like details, you, uh, you get kind of confused. You could be much better off if you just kind of stayed in the pocket of shitting on the average American. Because that's what feels like the premise is, is like, oh, I'm as smart as the average American and I'm still disabled already. That sentence is fun for you to say, not for me, <laughs> clearly. Uh, and then you can build from there. Uh, you also, I mean, the point is like. Talking to the mic. Okay. Like, the point is, like, <laughs> or, or still don't. <laughs> I mean, the point is, like, the average American is as smart as an autistic person on three hours of sleep. So I'm kind of shitting on Americans. Yeah. Do you yeah. think you're smarter than the average French person? Uh, from the French people I've met? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> you, what about an autistic French person? <laughs> Do you guys have those there, or is that just a, sorry? No, they do to them what they what, what You guys they have better the food Muslim. than us, or whatever. <laughs> sorry. Yeah. Nah, dude, they mm. kill them in the womb. They Jesus. <laughs> Europe's bad. All right, we got, all right, let's get the hell moving on. Move on. Time to move on. Shay, yeah. you're really funny. That wasn't the set. You know that. It was new shit. Yeah. I'm yeah, going to go six. I was going to five. But I, was like, yeah. but I think yeah, you're great. Yeah, I would say five. It's all right. Yeah. All, all right, give her a everybody. And thank you for staying. Is this our 10th comedian of the 11th. night? 11th. 11th comedian, which means we only got two more after this. Two more comedians, yeah. guys. Work, guys, and stay excited. Just stay excited for this next Come comedian. On, Put guys, your hands together right now for Anam, everybody. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get on up here. Did you guys notice this is the diversity portion of the show? <laughs> Oops, all women. <laughs> um, hey, guys. So I... Uh, I recently got canceled for using the hard R from my niece. She she canceled me. I I've been calling I've been calling her Peppa Pig this whole time. I mean, sorry. Oh my god, I fucked up. Fuck. Can I start over? Can I start over? You guys okay with start? Yeah, guys, give her a round of applause. <laughs> all, right, all, right, all, right, all right, here we go. This is the this is the real joke. Okay, my niece canceled me the other day for using the hard R. <laughs> Apparently, it's Peppa Pig. I've just been adding a little seasoning, <laughs> calling her Pepper. <laughs> <laughs> okay, anyways, um, I know you guys are looking at the miscellaneous language on my sweatshirt. Um, yes, I am Muslim. Um, <laughs> and uh, what's it called? No, like, I've, been, I've been really traumatized post 9-11. Like, when I was younger, when I was in college, uh, one, of my, one of my really good friends in college turned out to be an undercover cop. Oh. And I didn't know, I, didn't, I couldn't tell. She was honeypotting me the whole time because she kept calling me her little cheesecake. <laughs> and that made me blush. <laughs> Um, yeah, NYPD knew I was bi before I did. I found out in the pandemic, you know, like the rest of us, <laughs> through TikTok. No, just me? Okay, cool. All of, what's up? Okay, cool. Another gay Muslim. <laughs> um, anyway, I think women are great. You know, women are hilarious, kind, beautiful, smart. I feel like they would have invented the vibrator before, like, even if it didn't exist, they would have invented it. You know, like, I feel like a man definitely, definitely invented the vibrator. Like, they were like, oh, sports, owie. And then <laughs> women were like, can I see that for a second? Can I just... Can I just check it out real quick? Just real quick. It's gonna it's gonna be really quick. I promise you. And like, cause when I was younger, right? I used to play a lot of video games. I still play video games. But like when I was younger, I I found out real quickly that I got rewarded for failing. Cause whenever you would lose, whenever you get injured, right in the game, shit would vibrate, <laughs> and that felt good. So um, uh, no, and I feel like a lot of guys, you know, shit on women for being bad players, but. You know, the same guys that are like uh, hurling insults at us probably could not make us come. <laughs> Nor could they have the opportunity. So anyways, um, I, God, this is new shit. All right, cool, cool, cool. Um, you guys have been great. <laughs> <laughs> All right, cool, cool, cool. <laughs> 
<laughs> All right, dude. Hell yeah, that's fun. I love that you just did the joke again at the beginning. <laughs> you like did, and you were like, you know, I'm gonna start it. I'm gonna start it like they had an already heard me do it. And there, uh, there's more you can do with that. You know, you'd be like my Peppa. Yeah, is that funny? No, never mind. <laughs> I was gonna say I know a white woman invented it because she's still pink. Oh, uh, maybe. And maybe never mind. Never mind. Uh, I, don't know. I don't know what color yeah. swine is. I'm not haram like you. <laughs> I'm a good Muslim. <laughs> a good straight Muslim. Yeah, right, sorry, let me really? shut up. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. You're Muslim? Uh, I grew up Muslim. We'll no see. Way. We'll see if I get sad enough to circle back. Are you? <laughs> you know. Can you be you're black? Yeah. And you're Muslim. Yeah, there's a lot of them, you know? <laughs> Are you not, dude, you jail Have you never is heard be of Malcolm crazy X? for you. I just don't know how that works. Well, I thought it was I like, uh, yeah, Malcolm. never mind. No, right. a lot of Muslims are black. They sell bean pies. They have a little Bean tie. pies are amazing. They you are. And you just found others. out that I was not Jewish. Yeah. And I was wondering why you were always kind of mean to me. <laughs> I was always, I'm an Italian American. We can be friends. <laughs> Damn, have I been kind of mean to you? I'm sorry. No, I'm just fucking with you. I'm just, I actually like you a lot. I'm just fucking with you. Wow, like you this too. is about me. Can you guys? <laughs> um... <laughs> I think you have a really likable like uh, presence. Thank you. Um, yeah, we just gonna work on the material. How long have you been doing it? I don't want to tell you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, fair enough. But you said it was new stuff you're trying out. Okay, that's fair. Yeah, you know, this is, you find out what hit and what didn't hit. Right, right. At some point, when you sat down, you gave up. <laughs> <laughs> At some point during the set, you like sat down and you're just like, I'm just going to say the rest of the words that I was going to say and you kind of checked out. But I don't want to make this sad, but I am disabled, so I just had to take a quick sec. No, it's because you gave up on comedy. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually not because the other thing. <laughs> <laughs> I think if you're going to, if in that case, if you're going to sit, sit the whole time. Okay. Then don't, don't change it in the middle because it, it sends a message. Oh. But if you go up and you sit immediately, then that's like uh, your character. That's not a very godfather. Sends a message. I don't know. He sends a message. <laughs> Yeah, I'm an Italian American. We've learned that. <laughs> Don't compare me to a mafioso. My bad. Immediately, we're proud people. I love it. Switch the effects. <laughs> Go full 180 on offense. <laughs> actually, I'm yeah, disabled. Like, I'm well, disabled. Actually, I'm Italian American, American. <laughs> and we have our own problems. <laughs> That's it. Casey, right? can I have another beer, please? <laughs> one one more beer. Oh, so much fun, <laughs> dude. I want to. It's hard. one thing about repeating the joke is now it's like hard to tell if it works or not. It's tainted the joke because now it's funny that you're repeating the joke <laughs> and you're being likable. So I can't really like comment on that. But on the other joke. I feel like you weren't given them nearly enough time to breathe. I don't know yeah. if it was like nerves from the first joke night. It's always nerves up here because I never you, know when the fuck I'm going up. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. This shit is nerve wracking. But you bulldozed through your entire set. You didn't give people a chance to laugh over the sorry. things were supposed to be funny. You guys, I'm sorry. Yeah, and then you abandoned your premise at the end for the uh, for the controller uh, the controller coming thing. Oh, so you're getting zin from your girl? <laughs> Are you popping a zin right now? No, of course not, okay, Dad. Here, I know you're watching this. This is not that. All right. Okay, cool. Okay. okay. We're awesome. Yeah, uh, I don't know. I've seen better. Yeah. It is what it I is. Give it a, I, was, I give it a. I was confused uh, to the, as the with the vibrator joke. How you got it? You were like, women would have invented it if men hadn't. Is yeah, that the we premise? Would have, we would have invented it even if they hadn't, because we're so smart. <laughs> Hashtag women in STEM. Men invented the vibrator. Yeah. yeah, we did. Go yeah, on. we're so smart and cool, dude. We're really, <laughs> yeah. Wow, we got we did that shit. But then we Woo. took it. No, you guys invented it for massages, you. and yeah. then we were like, uh, wait a second. That nah, that, right. what actually happened <laughs> is uh, <laughs> they happened? invented it for like hysteria. These dudes, you know, <laughs> they were so bad at making women come that they were literally going fucking crazy, and they would go to the doctors, and then the doctor would. I should have been that. there. Yeah, I should have. <laughs> <laughs> James could have, have you ever them. met a woman ovulating before? It's crazy. Dude. Have I ever met a woman ovulating? I, I believe so. <laughs> in my life. I forgot I, to ask, I guess. I, yeah. thought, I thought, wasn't it a thing where like Cleopatra had like a tube filled with bees that she used to use? That's what? insane. Or was that something I just read? Oh, it was closed. It took me a second. Something I read online. That's really funny. Uh, but nah, the doctors got really tired of making these women come <laughs> because they didn't have rights yet. So they, you don't want to make them come. Yeah, wait, wait, this is a doctor coming home. Tough day at the office, sweet. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, so then the doctors invented the vibrator so that they could not get carpal tunnel from just trying to make all these old, wild, wild west women come. 
<laughs> and, the, and, the, and, the, and the doctor's wife is like, come on to bed. He's like, I'm not bringing my work home. <laughs> That's, for them. That's how horny I am. I jerk off to Wikipedia. <laughs> <laughs> Historical. Oh, wait. I can only jerk off if the woman is pleasured. Wow. <laughs> so woke. <laughs> <laughs> Who was that for? <laughs> Who's watching? I don't know. You'd be shocked this works a lot. I'm sort of drunk. Really <laughs> <laughs> uh, That's a high percentage. <laughs> yeah. All right. Um, all right. Um, uh, um, yeah, uh, new this shit. A, new you, shit. I give it a four. You're very charming. But, uh, you're I like really you a lot. Stage presence. Also here. four. Okay. Thank I like that you're doing the the your friend undercover cop. I want to hear yes. more about it. Okay, for sure. Yeah, I want to hear more too. You were trimming the fat off, but you just bulldozed yeah. it too. I'm gonna I'm gonna also go four. four can I, four, can four. I say one thing? Yeah, why please. did no one uh, Why did no one call our friend Austin with a Y? Walmart Jack Harlow. Why Why did no one pick can up? Can you on stand that? up, Austin, please? Five below Jack Harlow? No, that one. Right. I don't think. No, no it's because we had maybe. Anyone better jokes. Hanks pun they can do. Right. Okay, yeah, you guys did have better jokes. My bad. Uh, yeah. You look like a forty-year-old twelve-year, like a, like a forty-year-old <laughs> like twelve-year-old maybe, because you have the broccoli haircut, but you're clearly too old for that. <laughs> oi, uh, oi, my man, Chet Wanks over here. <laughs> hey, wait, that would be funny if we were <laughs> all in England. Because <laughs> <laughs> he, he, he looks like Abraham Lincoln. Let's if pick he another name out the of the box. Thanks, guys. Bye. All right, all right goodbye. Yeah, step on your thing. Fun. It's cool. Chet wanks over here. <laughs> he doesn't deserve this. Right. He's a man who deserves respect. Next comedian, Aaron Brago. Yeah. Is that the last one? One no, more. No. Thank you, you so much. Aaron, everybody. Thank Aaron, everybody. Thank you. Thank you so much. I appreciate you, everybody. I was in the military for five years, and I got to say that this is much, much scarier. <laughs> 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 it's amazing how fast social media gets information out there. I lost 35 pounds and I decided to post a weight loss transformation on TikTok. And within a week, it had over 7 million views and 100 comments of people shitting on my hairline. One comment had 500 likes. It said, you lost more hair than weight. The runner-up comment was, still can't change the face. Going bald does run in my family, even my grandma. No matter how many hair products she tried, the chemo always won. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> 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 Who the fuck is that? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. My grandma was a sweet religious lady. She used to tell me that freckles and moles were angel kisses. And she would touch the mole on my cheek and smile. This always pissed me off because I had a gigantic mole on my penis. Oh. <laughs> what were these angels doing? Kissing the same spot over and over? I didn't even hit puberty yet. I had more hair on that mole than my entire body. <laughs> I even had two moles in between my butt cheeks. That means that these angels were flying around and tossing kids salads. <laughs> Eventually, the mole on my dick got so big that I had to get it removed. One of the most painful experiences of my life. Not because I had surgery on my pecker, but because during the healing process, I couldn't masturbate for two weeks. <laughs> I've always been really insecure about my body. I was born with a birth defect called hypospadias. It means that my pee hole starts in the middle of my penis and it opens up all the way to the tip. I can swipe a credit card through that thing. It's too bad I don't get any cash back. My ex-girlfriend was bisexual and she loved it. I think it's because she can tell she was sucking dick or eating pussy. <laughs> Thank you so much. My name is Aaron Bergoni. Aaron. Aaron, what's uh -oh. up? What's up with the laugh? I got a weird laugh, man. That's just what he got, uh, brother. Yeah, I thought you were. Oh. I thought you were making fun of I, the people that laugh. I thought you were making fun of me. Yeah, I thought. <laughs> I, is I it thought weird that got, I took that personally? Yeah. Did y'all feel that against me? I thought for it was really cool that this was a comedy set room full of people, but it was just about him and him connecting. <laughs> <laughs> it was about two people in this room really fi seeing eye to eye. What's it, going on? Thank it was, you. It was thank like you. sonar pinging off each other. You know? Yeah, I appreciate the you. two bats. I appreciate you. I've never heard that condition with the your. Pee hole goes. Yeah, thank we you. Don't, we don't. 
Thank you. We All don't right. doubt it. When you, when <laughs> you, when you come, does woman. it come out the front or does it kind of like sputter through the whole thing? Just, and I know this is yeah. this is we're learning. Does just, it come out your ass like a bird? <laughs> like, <laughs> what do you mean? What do you <laughs> when I come in a bird's ass, then it comes back out? I don't know. Uh, <laughs> yeah, dude. Or well, sure, answer his question if you want. Never mind. Uh, no, it just uh, it just kind of explodes like a, like an overhead fire sprinkler, just like oh, that. whoa, powerful. That's Powerful. pretty cool, mm. actually. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. This uh, is a. Uh, uh, you had a mole on your dick. It was it was ribbed for her pleasure. Is what I wrote down. Ah. Oh, also, man. I thought the angel kisses was birthmarks, not mole. Is it? Am I wrong with that? Because that's important it's for the, the same thing. Well, no. There's none of it's anything. <laughs> it's yeah, angels didn't really kiss. <laughs> stuff. It's, it's all lies. It's just things people say. That's fair. That's fair. Fuck, you're Muslim. You don't even believe in any. <laughs> Did we have angels. No way, place. really? Yeah, dude. It's uh, like All right, my bad, my bad. My bad. <laughs> Sorry, chat. Sorry, Twitch. <laughs> this I guy didn't know Muslim like, had angels, okay? <laughs> you just thought we had virgins, that's it. That's all you knew. <laughs> you just thought it was all just the- us and God and virgins. Yeah. <laughs> that's crazy. Yeah. Are the angels virgins? Never mind. <laughs> I think so. <laughs> all right. Christ. <laughs> <laughs> Biblically accurate versions. <laughs> uh, let's get to it. Let's get to it. Um, dude, I'm going to say one thing about you, Seth, is you kind of, you're doing yourself a disservice by having certain weak tags like uh, credit card through the penis and then not being able to get the cash back thing. It was like a little bit of a, it was a little bit of a groaner that couldn't jerk off thing. It was the most painful time of my weeks because I, I couldn't jerk off. You, uh, you, you space it out and then you like set it up for sure. And if it was like a good joke in there, that's exactly how you will want to do it. Mm-hmm. But like when you put something in there and you give it that time to breathe and you're like, nah, I really want you to hear that I couldn't jerk off for like two weeks. Mm-hmm. It kind of like sets you back a little bit, even though we were already on your side before. So I would say, you know, the premises were fun, but like the tags is where you kind of like started to, for lack of a better term, peter off. <laughs> and you and you you're giving him, him shit for the grown lines a moment ago. <laughs> it's crazy because none of us are that good at this. <laughs> and we're all like giving advice. My the advice would be um, you, the your cadence is very much like someone reading a script. Mm. Um, and I would just uh, do it like you're talking to your friend, and okay. I think that you'll connect more. I think that's how he talks to his friends. I think that's how he that's how you operate and ha- right. hang out. All right, I give it a four. Uh, five. Mm, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna also go four. I'm gonna go four. And you guys are mean for not clapping for him when he said he was in the military. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Thank yeah. you. Thank we you. We didn't quite make you. a leader, but thank you for coming back. All right, last Thank comic. You. Last comic of the night. Last, last comic. comic of the James night. wants to get the fuck out. I think that uh, a lot of people here do. Uh, final comedian, make some noise for Danny Fallon. Danny Fallon, everyone, take us uh, last chance, last chance to get on the leaderboard, guys. Big round of applause for Danny. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, all right. Good to be here, huh? Good to be alive, right? Yeah. I love life. I love it. I have to say that I used to be a heroin addict, so got to be grateful, you know? That's what they taught us in rehab. I, uh, I've been to rehab three times just to make sure. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I put water. I waited around for two hours, and then I'd take water at the wrong <laughs> moment. It's okay. It's going to be fun. We're going to have fun. Um... I went to rehab three times just to make sure. And uh, rehab is pretty crazy because I actually started working rehab. And my only qualification for working there was just the fact that I went to rehab three times. Which made me realize rehab is a bit of a pyramid scheme. <laughs> if you think about it. Because like I went to rehab, then I started working rehab, helping other people get sober. So one day, maybe they could work in a rehab too. You know, that dynamic does not exist in other medical fields. You're not leaving the psych ward for the third time. I'm like, you know what? You're pretty crazy. You want to start working here? <laughs> we could really use your mind. Get inside the enemies. Dude, at one point in my life, I wasn't even out of rehab, and I was working at a different rehab. <laughs> I would ride my bicycle from my rehab where I slept to another rehab where I was in charge. <laughs> That's insane. That'd be like if a guy was on work release and he was a corrections officer at a different prison. Uh, Heroin's expensive. You got to do a lot of... I used to be a heroin addict. I don't know if I even mentioned that yet. This is going great. I cannot believe how good this is going. And uh, yeah, I used to be a heroin addict. And, uh, you know, sometimes you got to do quick cash schemes. You know, sometimes you can't find copper. (laughs) Like my first sexual experience ever in life was actually getting blown by my boss from Subway. 
who was a man, for $70. You know how guys will play that game, hey, would you ever suck a dick for a million dollars? I'm really quiet during that game. <laughs> you know, because I've never sucked a dick, but I've done something very similar for much less. I'll be honest, it set me up for a very weird sexual life, having that be my first sexual experience. Because now every time I get a blowjob in life, afterwards I'm like, that was great. Normally I charge $70. <laughs> but for you, I'm going to do the family and friends discount. <laughs> oh, you're not going to pay me? You're my girlfriend? Well, can you make me a sandwich at least? Because you know the last guy. <laughs> <laughs> he made me a sandwich. <laughs> because we were at Subway. <laughs> All right, you guys have been great, thanks. Woo! Danny Fallon! Whoa. Bro, you really, you pushed through drowning in front of us very well, and I appreciate it. Thank that. you, thank you, appreciate that. I feel like, yeah, yeah, no, good set. I think they didn't give you what it, I thought that was really, really funny, and I think that a lot of these comedians just realized they're not going up, and that was the energy you were getting, but I think that that set was very, very funny and very tight and personal, and I enjoyed all of it. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. I was legitimately drowning. That was, it was like Dude. the most horrific. Thank God yeah. that guy widened up your throat, or else we might have a real <laughs> problem over no, here. No, 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 he, no, because that's the interesting part is that he paid to blow him. Correct. So you, that's it actually, like, <laughs> as a straight man, how much, like, if someone paid you $70 to suck your dick, that's fine. <laughs> yeah. Even if you don't, even if, like, you're gonna come, first of all. <laughs> There's gotta be good at it. That's crazy that you got that deal. Why did he do that? You at least free. Where are you? Where are you from? Uh, Indiana. Okay, so there you go. No, that doesn't explain it. <laughs> no, Don't fucking yes, say it. Does. it. If you're no, working at a damn subway in Indiana, you suck a dick from you pay seventy dollars. That don't. You, that, um, uh, apologies to the people of Indiana. I'm sure you're not all. Uh, uh, we have a lot of viewers. They don't have internet there, dude. Indiana <laughs> sucks, dude. I don't give a fuck. Why did he do if that? You don't like why it, go there? I want to know why. What was your relationship before? That was your first sexual experience too. That yeah. is crazy. How old were you? I was nine. 19. Eh, how old is he? He was probably like 37. All right. I don't love it. I don't love that. He was my manager at Subway. Yeah. You were on heroin at 19? Well, no. The, the, the joke is a little bit of a liberty. Yeah, yeah, yeah The first yeah. time, I was actually on Xanax. Mm -hmm. And uh, okay. I was addicted to Xanax, yeah, and I worked exactly. there. And he blew me the first time. And he, he actually invited me over to his house. Uh, and he said he, I could just jack off. And he would watch. <laughs> you could. You could. Yeah, he, said, I, you know, he said, I'll pay you $150 to jack off. Yeah. And I'll watch. Yeah. And like I sort of went over there, and I was like, uh, maybe I'll do it. Maybe I won't, you know, and then I got really fucked up and I was and he was like, are you ready? And then And then he was like less money and a blow. No, 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 and so, because I've done like a lot of Klonopin and I've drank. Yeah. And so I let yeah. him. And then and then I apparently just yelled, you know, homophobic slurs at him and his partner. Oh, not cool. Yeah, yeah, all right. And, <laughs> they were uh, assaulting this young boy. They paid him good money. They were assaulting your old penis. You're going to yell a slur at I'm him. I'm just telling you what happened. Very rude. I'm just telling you what happened. All right. I'm on so your then, side, by the way. Thank I'm you. not. Yeah, I'm on, yeah. I'm on, I mean, like, dude, <laughs> I'm usually not for slurs, but if another dude is just sucking your dick, maybe that's the one time <laughs> you're like, ah. I'm gonna let one you, fly. I'm just you saying it happens. You're it's crazy. Like he is a it's gay prostitute in this story. Right. And you're gonna say a slur? That's nuts. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's fucking nuts, man. Yeah, that's really crazy. I think you gotta tell us that you were like a full like no sexual experiences before, because that kind of caught me off guard, and that adds a lot to the story. That's that's what's that's well, you know, it's three minutes. I can't really. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, you, you, you said all of the things I said. You could have just said that thing first, and it still would have fit in the three minutes. Um, but I, I don't know, man. That's fucking. I just, I'm still like. So anyhow, I, I hit I'm him really up sad right now. Anyone else? Anyone uh, else feeling this? Whatever. Shit's, shit's crazy out there. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's not even that <laughs> crazy. There's way stuff. crazier sure. shit that happens, you know. All right. Yeah. People have sex with that. their cousins. Well, I mean, I'm, that's no, that's cool though. I like that. People have that. <laughs> Some people get fucked by their dad. So I mean, it's like don't like that. Okay. I guess you're wondering where I land on incest. Cousin, yes, dad, no. This is the last comment. Like what other awful things can you think <laughs> to say to the audience? I 
Oh, sorry. Can I say one thing about your set real quick? I think that like with the pyramid scheme thing, it was already funny, but you didn't need to explain to us like what the pyramid mm, thing was. Yeah. Mm. So it kind of like fucked up when you went into the psych ward and then you did the same thing of that comparison with the correction officer working at a different prison, which is probably the funniest one. But because you already did it like three times beforehand, people were kind of checked out for that. If you just like went straight from that into the corrections officer, I bet you get a good laugh because that's uh, hilarious. And then also, yeah, maybe say the virgin thing before the getting blown thing. I, I also think for the comparisons thing, um, it's like he said it's the same note over and over, but with different places. And so I wanted to, you to take it in a different place. And the place that I would take you, you don't have to do this, is something along the lines of like you got caught doing something at yours, and then you knew how to catch the guy doing it. Or some version of that where it's like you were doing this an hour ago, and so I know you're doing this. If oh, that makes any right, sense. Right, right, right. Yeah. Or whatever version of like you, I like we, I, you're the same guy. Therefore, that's why you know this. Does that make any sense? Yeah. No, I'm following you. Okay, yeah, cool. Yeah. I'm just like processing yeah. the fact that I just told a group full of strangers. Like, yeah. Oh. Is it the first? That's time really you said what that? I'm feeling. I'm like, yeah, great. No. No. Yeah. Reality. I would be. Yeah. yeah. How long have you been doing stand up? Uh, five years. Five nice. years. And yeah. it's the first time you ever tried that on stage? No. <laughs> he, did, he did it at the mic right before this. I wasn't there. Oh, that's right. Yeah, so, okay. Um, I'm, not, I'm not as successful as he is, so I still <laughs> do all the mics. And, uh, 7.5. Mm -hmm. well, I was going to go to a five. Mm -hmm. You can do that. Five or six. Maybe. You're allowed to do whatever you five, want. Five or six, right? Now, whatever. Five or six. <laughs> uh, dude, I'm honestly, I'm going to go 4.5. I'm going to go 4.5. But you were fun, and I'm glad you, you beat heroin. Sure. Thank you for yeah, coming out, dude. Really appreciate yeah, you. Yeah, please come back. Hell yeah. All right. So we actually have a tie for third place because I let some guy choose his own score. So <laughs> looks like we're going to have. And you wouldn't have been tied if you had picked fucking 10 and this is a lesson that's true that's true that wouldn't have happened so we're gonna have four people in the finals the way our finals work is each comedian's gonna come up here they're gonna do one joke there's no time limit on it but it's one joke like the what whatever you what word you put on your fucking notepad that's how you're gonna be don't be up here for like five minutes trying to do a whole bunch of jokes we're gonna go from the bottom of the list to the top of the list and at the end of it you're only gonna clap for the person who you want to go home with the 201 dollars okay but clap for them when they're done with their set all right are you guys ready are you guys ready for the finals? Wait, I'm confused. No, I'm confused. Don't worry about it. We're done. They're clapping at the end of their set, or at the end we do everyone. Yeah. So the first person who's going to go to the, come to the stage is going to be Alim. The second one is going to be Josh. The third one is going to be Steph Brown, and then the final one's going to be Trevor. And uh, you guys ready? Make some noise for Alim to come to the stage, everybody! Yeah. So I did, t I did talk about having a girlfriend despite my homosexuality. Um, <laughs> I, it's OK, so I actually, I actually like having a girlfriend. Like, not even romantically. I like having a girlfriend sociologically. Like, like my favorite thing about having a girlfriend is the comfort and security I'm able to give to other women when I tell them that I have a girlfriend. <laughs> the stress just goes right away. It's like, they, it's like they just found out they don't have cancer. <laughs> and it's not like I'm the doctor giving them the great news that, oh, you don't have It's like I'm the tumor, and they're finding out someone else has cancer. <laughs> <laughs> OK. All right, that's my, that's my bit. Good job, good job. Make some noise for him as he gets off stage. Let's keep it going as Josh R comes to the stage, everybody. Do you guys want to hear a fun fact? Yes. Uh, Yo-yos were originally designed as weapons in the Philippines. <laughs> All right, fuck you guys. Um, ever since I've learned that information, I have not left the house without keeping the thang on me. <laughs> I even wander around at late hours of the night. Is if anyone's willing to mess with me? Oh, shit. Because if they knew what I was capable of. Oh, shit. If they knew <laughs> what... What I was capable of. <laughs> if they knew what I was capable of. <laughs> they wouldn't want to fuck with me. OK, thank you guys so much. You guys were nice. Make some noise for Josh as he gets off stage. Let's keep it going as Steph Brown comes to the stage, everybody! Um, I've been getting into astrology as a way to like justify my actions. 
right? And I found out, I'm, I was doing some research, I found out that Tauruses are super, super stubborn and they hold the most insane grudges. And when I read that, I was like, oh my God, that makes so much sense. Cause you know who's a Taurus? Saddam Hussein. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, and I just picture Saddam and his friends like, Saddam, why'd you kill tens of thousands of your own people? He's like, babe, you know I'm a Taurus. <laughs> All right, that's my time. I'm Steph Brown. Hell yeah, make some noise to Steph Brown. Keep it going for your final comedian of the night, Trevor, everybody! What's up, you guys? I, uh, I'm trying to get more into reading, so I bought a book called How to Win Friends That Influence People. Uh, this book is written by a guy named Dale Carnegie. Uh, I thought it was written by Andrew Carnegie, uh, the richest person in history. You know what Dale Carnegie did? He wrote that book. That's all he did. He just wrote that book. I think the book would be much better if it was written by Andrew Carnegie, the wealthiest guy in history. Chapter one, find oil. <laughs> Chapter two, that's the whole story, you guys. That's it. You know, recently I was talking to uh, somebody I don't respect. I was talking to a woman, um, and she was telling me about Jake Paul and Logan Paul, the Paul brothers. And she was like, uh, Jake Paul and Logan Paul, they were the first influencers, uh, if you think about it. No thanks. I'm not trying to think about that any time of day. Also, I'm pretty sure that oil guy was the first influencer, if you really think about it. All right, that's it. Dump Trevor, thanks. All right, Trevor, stay on the stage. Aleem, Steph, Josh, come join him on the stage. Could you whip out that big wad? Wad of cash. Get the wad out. One Make of these comics is going to head home with more money than I've ever made at a show. Yup. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So the way this works is we're just going to go from uh, we're going to go from right to left, and then you're only going to clap for the person who you want to possibly take home this $201. When you clap for that person, go absolutely fucking crazy because I don't want to have to do this shit again. All right. You ready? Make some noise for me if you fucking understand okay sick if you think trevor should take home this 201 dollars make some noise to trevor right now all right if you think that josh should take home this 200 dollars make some noise for josh right now all right if you think steph should take home this 201 dollars make some noise for steph right now all right if you think aleem should take home the 200 dollars make some noise for aleem right now <laughs> it's looking like Steph what? Brown is the Does champion. Know? Give it up for Steph, everybody. Saddam oh, yeah. Hussein was a Taurus. Thank you all for checking us out. We're here every Monday. Get home safe. Have a good night. Good night. Goodbye.